Guys, this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Rental Park Shala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And today's lecture, we are going to talk about the differences between a circumferential clasp and a bar clasp. So without further ado, let's get started. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications. So talking about the differences between a circumferential clasp and a bar clasp, as we know, as the name suggests, circumferential clasp is the one which is going to cover the tooth in a circumference. Now, what is the main purpose of a clasp is that it is going to provide, uh, see, this is a tooth, right? So, what are the factors which depend on the stability, retention and support? This we have already covered my dear students. So, the upper one you can remember is which provides the support. So, whatever part of uh, RPD, either it is a rest or it is the part of a retentive arm which is coming from the occlusal one third of the teeth so the occlusal one third of the teeth provides the support we have already covered it from the macrigan the lower the gingival one third of the tooth or gingival one third of the part of a rpd which covers the gingival one third of the part it provides the retention and the middle one is the one which provides the stability, right? This we have already covered. Now that we know whatever the part which is at the occlusion one third is going to provide the support, whatever is at the gingival one third is going to provide the retention. So the circumferential clasp is the one which is actually covered the tooth. Suppose this is a tooth, right? This is the gingival part. This is the gingival part. This one is the occlusion. So how a circumferential clasp covers is, suppose this is the raised, then it is going to cover like this, a rest, a retentive arm, which starts from the occlusal, but it ends like this, it ends in the gingival one third. And then we have got a reciprocating arm, which is going to do the reciprocation so that no extra forces, this is to counteract the forces which uh, the retentive arm is putting, right? So like this, this is a clasp. This is a circumferential clasp. How a bar clasp is like this. Suppose this is the tooth. This one is the occlusal part. A bar clasp is coming from bottom, from the gingiva like this. So as the name suggests, it is a bar which is coming from the gingiva. So now the circumferential clasp has got a retentive arm. This is the retentive arm. The opposite one is the reciprocating arm which is going to reciprocate the purpose. Now retentive arm is the arm which does the purpose of retention. We have already covered the circumferential clasp uh, uh, and you can go in the playlist and watch the rest of the parts of the circumferential clasp. We have already covered the parts of the bar clasp. So the circumferential clasp also known as the acre clasp. Now this clasp is going to circumference the tooth, right? So it is going to circumference the tooth like this. So this is the retentive arm which is going down and, and this is the reciprocating part now so when we are trying to seat this circumferential clasp this circumferential clasp is going to surround the teeth so when we are trying to seat the circumferential clasp it is actually difficult but when we are trying to remove the whole of the rpd it is easy to remove the rpd if the rpd is having a circumferential clasp so this clasp provides more of a kind of stability because it is encircling the whole of the tooth right we know that that encircles whole of the tooth but if we talk about the bar clasp which is also known as the vertical projection because there is a vertical projection which is coming from the gingiva or the roch class this is a push type of retention when we are trying to seat the rpd it is easy to seat the rpd with the bar clasp but when we are trying to remove the rpd because it is engaging from the gingiva part it is very difficult to remove and when something is difficult to remove we call it it is more retentive so a bar clasp is more retentive because the a circumferential clasp, we can see that a wire is approaching, a wire is there on the occlusal part. So this is less aesthetic because 
when we are putting this kind of circumferential clasp in the anterior region the wire will be visible so it is less aesthetic aesthetic means it is going to hamper the looks of the patient while on the other hand a bar is approaching from the gingiva so hence it is more aesthetic of, of a clasp design so circumferential clasp which is also known as the acer clasp it approaches the undercut it approaches the tooth starts from the occlusal surface and the retentive arm it goes into the undercut into the gingival part so while on the other hand a bar clasp i can say approaches the undercut from the gingiva right so a circumferential clasp it gives a pull type of retention and a bar clasp it provides a push type of retention because it is difficult to remove so when it is difficult to remove uh, is it okay if i say you that because it is difficult to remove so it is more retentive if both the circumstances for the circumferential clasp and the bar clasp if i keep the constant all the factors i keep constant all the factors are same then the bar clasp is more retentive as compared to a circumferential clasp right so while on the other hand a circumferential class because it is encircling the tooth so it provides greater stability but less retention and the aesthetic is less in case of a circumferential class as compared to the bar class now that because circumferential class encircles the tooth it surrounds the tooth right more than 180 degree encircles and circumment of 180 degree or more of 180 degree so the more tooth surface is covered and this may lead to decalcification of the enamel and also there can be enamel caries because constantly there is a wire which is upon the tooth so there can be it can also lead to a caries while on the other hand a bar clasp is coming from the gingiva now what happens when it is in engaging the gingival tissues there is going to be accumulation of the food here and this can lead to a plaque accumulation and there can be a gingivitis which is caused due to a bar clasp so the circumferential clasp it often causes decalcification of the enamel or it can also lead to a caries while on the other hand a bar clasp is engaging the tooth from the gingiva and it can lead to a plaque accumulation and it can also lead to inflammation of the gingiva because of the engagement from the gingiva it can lead to a gingivitis so a circumferential clasp is the most logical it is actually easy to design easy to make easy to repair also and it doesn't collect the food debris while the bar clasp has got the tendency to collect the food near to the gingiva and it often lead to gingivitis now this this is the major difference between a circumferential clasp and the bar clasp circumferential see bar clasp can be used in the distal extension cases where there is no teeth after the edentulous space so either in a class 2 or a class 1 situation we can easily use a bar clasp and all the areas where aesthetic is involved in the anterior regions especially if you want to give a clasp it is better to give a bar clasp and circumferential clasp we can give when there is not much of aesthetic which is uh, required in the posterior region wherein uh, we want a stability of the prosthesis we can give the circumferential clasp which is also known as the acer clasp or the bar clasp so in a nutshell circumferential clasp gives the pull type of retention it is more stable while on the other hand a bar clasp which is also known as the vertical projecting clasp vertical projection clasp or the ro roch clasp it gives a push type of retention and it is more retentive and more aesthetic so guys this is the difference between a circumferential clasp and the bar clasp i hope that you have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below there is a link in the description box below to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes which will be available on the website soon so till then keep reading keep learning stay motivated and see you soon in the next video